village of Sevanagala in eastern Sri Lanka. A typical day in the monsoon season, the rain torrential. Except there's something very different about this rain. It's color. It rained on and off for 60 days straight. People were held captive by the mysterious red downpour and feared their drinking water was contaminated. Initially unable to find the cause of the red rain, investigators turned to similar events around the world for a possible explanation. And incredibly, there were other cases. Sydney in 2009 awoke to a red fog engulfing the city. How bizarre is this? It stretched 600 kilometers along the coast and remained for 48 hours. It was rich, ferric dust blown in by strong winds from drought-affected deserts inland. And in 2001, in Kerala, southern India, blood-colored red rain fell for two whole months. Initially, red dust was blamed again, this time from the Arabian Desert. Dust sucked up by hot surface air, blown across the Indian Ocean, and dropped in the monsoon rains. But the dust theory didn't hold up to closer examination. Indian physicist Professor Godfrey Lewis analyzed samples of the rain. It's very clear from the images that they are not dust particles. Dust particles will not have this regular shape. Uh, they will not be small, smooth balls like this, and uh, they, they, were, they are not transparent like this. Professor Lewis found something far more intriguing than dust. These particles appeared to be alive. All known life forms need DNA, the essential building block of life on Earth. It allows cells to replicate. But Professor Lewis has discovered these cells are replicating even though they have no DNA. These cells multiply. So the biochemistry of this organism is different. It is a new kind of life form. 